welcome back. It is Imelda here from Three Scrappy Sisters and I have a 12 by 12 process video that I have created using the Felicity Jane Kate kit. And this kit is absolutely probably one of my favorite ones so far. It's got a lot of black and white and pink and gold which is what I love to use. So I'm just going to get started here. I am going to use um, this photo of my absolutely adorable nephew. He is um, just about nine months old. I think about nine months. And um, he and my sister-in-law and my brother-in-law were over and he fell asleep. So we put him in the hammock outside and he was just absolutely too cute to not take a picture. Um, and if you look really closely, you can see his super long eyelashes and his super adorable hair which sticks up no matter what. It's just the cutest thing ever. Um, and he's just a really happy baby, so he's just super awesome to be around. So anyway, so I'm just going to talk about the layout here. I am going to use the August 1st um, Stuck Sketches sketch. And I am actually, this is the first of two layouts that I am going to use, that I'm going to make using that sketch. And I am using these layouts as my application for the Stuck Sketches design team. So I hope um, that you all like it and I hope that the team at Stuck Sketches really enjoys this and my take on the sketch. So I have just started with the, like I said, the Kate kit. And I'm just basically layering. I picked the star paper as well as the striped vellum and the gold foil vellum, which I absolutely love. It's so pretty. Um, so I have also just selected one of the Project Life cards that says Love Days Like This with a little arrow. And I've decided um, to use the original sketch that I believe had two photos. Um, I'm just going to use, instead of two photos, I'm going to use... Um, just one photo and the project life card only because they are just about the same size and this was the only photo that I wanted to use. I tried printing it a little bit bigger but my photo printer was being a little funny so it gave me sizes that I was I didn't really want so I ended up with this one which was fine I like this one anyways. So now I have you seen you saw me quickly go through the ephemera pack as well as the cutouts, the digital cutouts that came um, through, that come through email when you get the kit. And I have just gone through those pieces to see if there are any of the pieces that I want to use along the bottom vertical stripe, I guess you can call it, um, or cluster. So I'm just going to go through and arrange what I think I might want to use. I do have a lot of the pink pieces that I have picked out that I don't end up using only because I like the look of the black, white, and gold with the gray photo. I think that the pink was, it was too obvious, it was too too different I, I guess, um, that I didn't want to draw attention to those pieces. I wanted the focus to be more on the cluster around the photo in the layers. So I am just trimming down this Project Life card here just because it doesn't quite fit. It kind of overlaps some of the layers and I wanted it to be a part of the the photo mat to the left of the photo. I didn't want it hanging over. So I'm just going to adhere these pieces here and I really love this gold foil vellum so I am going to trim it down. Uh, I trimmed the two vellum pieces the same size but I wanted the gold foil to be peeking out a little bit more so I just trimmed it. You can see here it's more like an L shape just the corner of it and I am going to put it off side a little bit just so you can see more of the gold. And I've also added some foam to this cluster here just to give it a little bit of dimension. 
So I am going to just adhere my photo as well as this little piece, which ends up being my title. And I am just going to adhere the rest of it, basically. Um, the sketch is includes this tag and it does have some twine. However, the kit didn't include any twine and I did film this or create this at a crop. So I don't end up adding any thread or twine to it. I think I just kind of forgot. Um, I really wish that the kids did, if they come with a tag, they should come with a little bit of twine, I think, but it's okay. I could just add something later, but I, I completely forgot until just now. But I did just tuck that tag under the layers. So right now I am taking a little piece of the printout and I am cutting some fishtails into it. So it's, it goes over that banner. I put this dark, it's almost like a navy, it's like a very, very dark blue, almost black. I think maybe it's just the way that it printed out. I printed it at Staples. Um, maybe it's supposed to be black, but it says, I can't even remember what it says now. Um, but I put that on top of the gold label and then I'm going to try and figure out where this white piece goes. And I like that better on the gold label. So I am going to pull it off the black one and then just add the white one. And the white one says, I can't remember what that one says either. Oh, something all this no I, I I can't remember what it says there is a lot of them uh, and they were all different so I, I'm sorry I can't remember um, but I think when the when I show you the close-ups then you'll be able to see what it says so I am just going to glue this down and create a little bit of a cluster above the photo so now I am going to bring my focus to the I wouldn't call it a cluster, it's just a little bit of some embellishment drop things, droplets, um, just under the photo to the left. So I'm going to just make sure this is straight and then work on the stars. So I have that little chipboard line star as well as a little gold one and I'm going to adhere those down. So everything that I'm using here is from the kit. I do end up adding a little piece of washi at the very, near the very end of just some little gold arrows. But other than that, everything is from the kit and which is a big reason why I love to use these kits because it all, it all coordinates so perfectly together and it's got so many pieces. And if you're not afraid to cut pieces up, a little bit then you it can really go a long way so I've added a little banner as well as like I said these stars and then I'm going to move on to the cluster at the bottom the cluster at the bottom is where I start to take some of the pink away and then I end up just with the black white and gold So here I am, I just have a gold foiled strip of paper, it came with, with the ephemera pack um, and I'm just going to add that to the bottom here just because I, I, I started to think that it looked a little bit bare just under the photo. So I wanted to add a little bit more layers, a little bit more dimension. And then I realized that now that I've taken away from the bottom, I need to add something else. So I am going to go through, through my ephemera or my little dish where I keep all of that stuff. And I'm going to add a little strip of the vellum, the verti vertical stripe. Well, it could be horizontal, vertical, whatever. Um, I'm going to add the stripe. I did think about this washi tape that came in a previous Felicity Jane kit, but I didn't want to add black and white polka dots to the bottom. I, I felt like the black was a little bit too dark. So I'm going to add the vellum and then I'm going to layer everything on top. So that little white banner says loving this life. And here I just added 
the pieces that I cut off of the Project Life card that says love days like this on the back side of it has a little bit of a, a graph paper type print on it so I'm going to just use the back of it and then I added a little strip of that I don't, gingham I guess it's yeah black and white gingham so I'm going to add that as well so I'm just going to glue everything down and layer them on top so this label here is from the printable again however it has this little pink flower cluster on the bottom of the label and I didn't want like I said I didn't want to add the pink and I felt like because I had the hearts and the stars already mixed together with some polka dot I didn't want to add another element another shape to it so I wanted to cover that so I'm just going to use these little bits and pieces to cover those parts that I don't want showing. And I think that's a big reason why I love layering, just because if something is not necessarily my style or something that I'm very comfortable using, I'm okay covering it and just using a little bit of it, just kind of to ease my way into all of these new products. and you know, make something work. I, I purchased something, so I want to be able to use it. I don't want to leave it behind and not use it and just leave it there. So if using a little piece is better than using none of it. So I have a little gold star and I'm adding some more of those little banners. These are chipboard and I am just adding, I think, two or three. And then I'm going to add this loving life. So I've popped this up on some foam just to give it some dimension. Especially because I'm also sticking it on top of the, the banners, which are also chipboards. So I need a little bit of height. So I've gotten rid of the pink. There's no pink on this, this layout. Which I would be okay using, even though this is a page about my nephew. I'm not like I think I've said this in my videos before, I'm not a stickler on using just blue or just pink for boys and girls. Um, I'll mix it up and I'll I'll add florals to a boy page. Um, I'm I'm not I don't have a problem with that. But this one I felt that the stars worked perfectly only because he's sleeping and stars make me think of nighttime and. I'm okay mixing in the hearts just because I love him and he's so cute. So I'm going to add some of these enamel hearts, which are absolutely adorable. I love, I've, I can't say this enough, I love this kit. Every, every part of it is just perfect. I'm also going to add some of these word stickers. And I have this little black heart that I want to add. I don't know where to put it and I kind of try all sorts of different places. And finally, I decided on the bottom there in the cluster. I also added, I think it was quiet time and then family, something like that. So I thought it was perfect. So I'm going to ink splatter some black and ink splatter some gold and then just soak some of the gold up so I don't get that oily ring around the splatters. And that is the layout. I want to say thank you so much for watching. And I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you like my take on the August 1st stuck sketches. And I will leave you here with the sketch and some of the stills. Thanks and have a good day. Bye.